Uh, we do work with restaurants in the area. Um, our friends at Forgotten Harvest do as well, and they help rescue uh, rescue food from restaurants. And and it is um, you know it is harder during these times when restaurants are closed. Um, so not only are restaurants you know not necessarily providing as much um, donated food, but but we also see more people um, in line uh, because they are out of work um, and used to work at restaurants or or be part of businesses that are that are um, temporarily or sometimes permanently closed. So the impact is definitely um, great, and we're seeing um, we're seeing people in our lines for that have never needed food support uh, before. It's the first time that they are needing this this support and. Um, and we are grateful to, for the fact that they're coming to us. Uh, we, we have the food available. We've got our distribution sites set up across all of the five counties that we serve. And uh, we want to be that support uh, to help families and households you know, take hunger off the table because we all have so many um, things to worry about and think about right now. And those who are struggling, who are out of work or temporarily out of work, um, you know, we want households to be able to get back on their feet to use the resources to, to pay any any um, household bills or things like that and and not get behind and and come get some, you know, food support from us. Uh, it's we are here to help stabilize uh, households and take some stress off of, of individuals who right now are just struggling a bit.